Daisy looked around the forest. She had just got kicked out of her kitty pet home by three kitty pets. She had no idea where she was going at, and she raced along the grasses of an unknown territory. She thought it would be a long enough time that she was away from her two legs that she could come back, but she was lost. She squinted her eyes and looked across the river. She thought she saw an unknown and unnatural light in the distance. Was that her kitty pet home? She had no idea, but hoped for the best as she thought about swimming across it. She saw three cats and flinched. Two of those cats were the brothers that chased her away from her two leg house. When she was far enough away, she raced across the river and sat at the edge of a camp. She saw a helpless kitty pet on the ground being pinned down by a large brown tabby. What was that cat doing? She thought as she thought for a moment. She had to help the kitty pet. She knew it was a kitty pet. It smelled like a kitty pet. It looked like a kitty pet. And she almost thought she remembered the name of the cat. She'd met this cat before. Her name was Cotton Candy. Daisy raced out from the bushes, racing past a cat and a kitten who were also talking and not paying attention to her, and a few more cats that were watching Cotton Candy. Daisy called out, Hey, what are you doing to her? And pushed a creamish, bluish tom away from Cotton Candy. Get off of me! She heard hisses and retorts from Cotton Candy below her as Daisy prodded out towards the brown tabby that was pinning the f fellow kitty pet. Daisy looked over as a molly with folded ears leaped on top of her. As, d as the molly did, Daisy whimpered and growled from below the, the fellow molly. What did I do to you? She grumbled prodding out with her weak, limp, and white paws. The creamish, bluish tom above her called out to, to the cat paneer down. Sun heart, come on, take it easy. It's just a kitty pet, he said, his voice calm and monotone tone. Sunheart departed from her immediately as the Tom um, said that. Sorry, you're right, Blue Mist. She whispered back to the Tom. Daisy quickly scrabbled up, and all her focus were on the two cats now, completely ignoring that what was happening to Con and Candy at that very moment. Thank you she thought, but didn't say it out loud, as the two cats had just, well, the one cat had pinned her down for no reason whatsoever. But this, but she eventually said thanks. Thanks. She was out of breath still. I'm sorry, I didn't know what side you were on, okay? The cat she knew as Sunheart said, sorry Daisy, but they have to figure this out. How did this Tom know her name? She didn't suspect a thing. She didn't even know a name. But Daisy was the name that her two legs had called her. I guess she was a Daisy to this cat too. I'm just a kitty pet, she said. I don't have a side. Please don't hurt me. Apologies, I won't. Sunheart said. She, her attention was caught in blue mist as he looked down at Cotton Candy, who was still struggling on the ground, but got, but got up. Apologies again, Sunheart said, and faced towards Daisy. And I'm the deputy. It's okay. Daisy said once more, but this time a little bit more shy. She looked back at Blue Mist. Her eyes were wandered and disbelief at the Tom's handsomeness. 
But that wasn't the point. She couldn't have. She wasn't here for her mate, or anything of that sort. And she did realize by Sunheart's body language that the two were probably mates already. She didn't want to make enemies with the only cat she actually were acquaintance with in the forest. After a while, the cats gave more attention to her again. What was that? Sunheart wailed towards the brown tabby, who she heard from other cats as Snake Star, and he was also the leader. What's what? he said grimly, looking away, and the blood drip drops on the ground. Who was that, I mean? Snake Star flattened his ears. Just an intruder. We, he's, she's dealt with now. No worries. Sunheart. That cat attacked you, though. For just no reason? They left. But they'll come back. He meowed. Looking at Blue Mist, who was squabbling around with his paws. Daisy listened as she cowered from the huge leader who just attacked her kitty pet friend. Was this Tom serious? Did he just attack this that kitty pet because it intruded? She didn't know much about clans, but she knew that they were aggressive enough. But not that aggressive. Keep your fur on. No one died. A dim and monotone voice growled in the distance. Daisy got up, ignoring the cat in the distance as she felt a side eye from a dappled molly. Well, she thought it was a molly. She wasn't 100% sure, though. Is that supposed to be reassuring? Sunheart wailed back towards the Grey Tom. Hello, I'm gonna ask you to nicely leave. A new boy grumbled. The noise of the pat the conversation behind her was drowned out as she looked at Ender Void. The thing is I can't remember where my two leg house is, she laughed nervously. Please leave, Ender Void repeated once more, and sheathing their claws. Daisy quivered as fireflies darted around her. After a while, Ender Void stood up, their claws slicing on the sandy soil. Right then and there, Daisy felt five times shorter. She looked at Ender Void. As Sunheart approached the Daisy once more again. <coughs> Come on, Ender Void, leave her alone. Sunheart meowed. It's just a kitty pet. Let her explain her story. Daisy looked back at Ender Void with, as, the, as the dappled cat had a creepy smile on their face. But, kitty pet, Sunheart said, what are you doing here? Well, the thing is, Daisy looked up and explained her story. How she got beat up by three cats and chased away. And also how she got lost and then came here and everything was mushing together now but she still managed to tell a believable story that was also true to Sunheart well that does sound like a true story Sunheart meowed after a while Shattered Sky can you help you find can you help find this kitty pet their home again if you would be so kind. Sunheart looked at Shatter Sky and blinked softly. Daisy watched. Were these cats mates as well? Shatter Sky looked at Sunheart like they were. What if they attack me again? 
Daisy spewed out, her paws jumbling up on the earth and as she looked around, very nervous again. If they do, she meowed, you can come back. Sunheart permitted the Molly to everything she wanted to do. Daisy just wanted to stay at this camp. She already had Sunheart to be a friend, and that's all she needed. Of course I can. She, the cat she figured out with Shattered Sky said. I'd... I'll protect you, I guess. He meowed. With more growling at the end. Are you telling me I can really come back here if they attack me again? Daisy said. Yes, Sunheart meowed back. Daisy ducked down once more as the leader known as who she knew as Snake Star approached. Please don't attack me, she meowed, the words spluttering out of her mouth quickly. I won't, Snake Star replied with a laugh. Phew, Daisy meowed to herself, laying down and looking back at the th three cats before her. That wasn't Snake Star. But she flashed Snake Star a last glance. His multi uh, his multicolored eyes coming was now comfort to her. This was another cat she could trust. She thought, "He won't attack you." Shattered Sky mumbled, and looked off. When the sun rose, Daisy was ready to depart from the River Clan camp. Come on, Shattered Sky! She meowed, her voice bubbly as always. Yep, let's go, Kitty Pet. He spat out Kitty Pet as if it was rotten fish. Daisy heard the tone of voice he was using, but didn't flinch. She was getting used to this already. That night, when she was still sitting there with Sunheart, Ender Void, Snake Star, and Shattered Sky, begrudgingly, from Shattered Sky's perspective, he didn't like her. Many cats didn't like her. That's why she was used to it. They all spat disgusting insults at her, as if she was rotten fish. As she followed Shatter Sky, she thought for a moment. As they crossed the trail and made a sharp right turn, she wondered if Shattered Sky knew where he was going. She didn't know her way back to her home. She wasn't lying about that. But she definitely knew that they didn't go this direction. But she followed Shattered Sky begrudgingly, and as they began walking on a thickly placed black road, when they kept running, she felt dubious about that they were going in the right direction, and he and Shadow Sky actually knew where they were going. As they kept running, she stopped and looked at him. Are you sure you know where you're going? She said tartly. Not exactly. The Tom she was the gray Tom sighed. Well, if we can't find it, then well, yeah, Sunheart said I could come back. She meowed. We're going to find it, Shattered Sky retorted. I, the last thing I want is for a kitty pet to join River Clan. He scowled at her with a glare and began walking again. <coughs> After a while, they had found themselves in a long forest with high grass that reached up to her legs. The two legs definitely didn't cut this territory. They needed to, though. It made her nose itch. It was so tall. She had seen her two legs cut their territory once or twice. The noise was so loud that it almost made her want to cry. They eventually found it, and she woke, walked upwards on the hill. A little tear running down her face as she saw it coming closer and closer in her line of view. She remembered the cats that beat her up and threw her out of her own house and the cat she was leaving behind Sunheart her friend she would almost consider her her best friend 
since she had no friends. Well, she had two, Snakeheart and Sunheart, but those were both at River Clan. And she had to realize that that was now gone. Um, she was sure that the cats wouldn't attack her again. Well, she wasn't hundred percent sure. You females. Oh, wonderful! What do we have here? The tongue grumbled. It's. Daisy tried to ignore Shadow's guy. She continued on her story. It's the other kitty pets. They attacked me again. She. I tried to fight back using the moves I saw Snake Star use on Cotton Candy, but they were much too powerful for me. She looked up at Sunheart with distraught in her gaze as the folded eared Molly responded. Oh, that's horrible. Come back to camp and our medicine cat can take care of you, she said with a smile as Shadow's guy had a scowl on his broad muzzle. If you excuse me, I have to give these flowers to someone. She blushed and averted her gaze with Daisy, but she nodded, nodded in response to Sunheart and gave her a quick thanks as she raced back to the camp, trying not to run too much just so it wouldn't give her pain in her side from the scar marks. She walked past the large brown tom known as Snake Star and tried to listen in on their conversation, but just walked past the pain unbearable as she approached the medicine cat, or what she thought was the medicine cat. Are you the medicine cat? She asked a cat that she will that she that Shattered Sky introduced as Ivy Fang. No, I'm not the medicine cat. She snorted. Daisy almost flummoxed backwards as she thought she saw the cats had beat her up, but they were just hallucinations. Oh, okay. She looked away sadly as she tried to listen for the medicine cat, or find the medicine cat. I have herb knowledge, Shadow Sky mumbled stur sternly as he began grabbing and chewing up herb poultices. Okay, thanks. Daisy looked off into, into a nearby puddle. I would really appreciate that, she sighed. Being honest, of course, but what if Shadow Sky poisoned her? That wouldn't be good. <sighs> she sighed and let the Tom do it reluctantly. Thanks, Daisy said after Shattered Sky finished adding the poultice onto her wounds. She checked the storage shelf and looked to see if there were any cobwebs to completely patch it up, but there were none, so she just allowed the poultice to stay on with no bandages to let it stay on, but she tried to be careful. You're welcome, the Tom growled as Daisy walked out of the den and approached Sunheart and passed Endervoid, never really wanting to talk to that Molly again. Well, she thought it was Molly, but she never really knew, but she'll never find out, that's what she thought. Hey, Sunheart. Yep. Hey, Sunheart, Daisy said to the Molly as they were talking to Shattered Sky. They were talking about something that was called gathering. So, what is this talk about gathering? What even is that? Daisy said, scuffling with her paws on the earth. She looked back up at the now three cats in front of her. Snake Star, Sunheart, and Shattered Sky. Sunheart looked back at Daisy with a smile. A gathering is where a bunch of cats meet. Talk about business about their glands. I'll be going and Snake Star will be one of the cats obliged to speaking, since he is the leader of this fantastical river clan that we call home. Well, I call home and everyone else in the clan, but it's really fun. 
Daisy let out a purrish. It sounded incredible. You think I can come with? She asked, her big yellow eyes becoming even wider as she thought about the excitement that would go on at the gathering. Shouted Sky looked dubious as he began speaking. I doubt it. You're a kitty pet. You don't even belong in the clans. Everyone will just mock you there and, spe and scowl at your foul smell. She flinched sh sh Shattered Sky's words, but ignored her, him, and but ignored him as she looked back to Sunheart. Who was that cat before? She asked. The one that tried to make you stop pinning me down to the ground when we first met? Wasn't his name... Bloomus? Or something? The name was familiar when she said Bloomist, and even Sunheart began speaking about him. Oh, yeah, I don't know where Bloomist went, but he has to be here somewhere. Shattered Sky growled. He didn't seem to like Bloomist. Oh, okay. I hope you're feeling better, though, Sun Sunheart meowed towards Daisy. All your wounds are treated, right? She asked, and Daisy nodded back towards the molly. Uh, she spoke again. I'd like to thank Blue Mist. She, he, um, he was really nice to me. She looked away and thought about Blue Mist. She knew that Sunheart liked him. That's the cat who she must have given the flower to, not too long earlier before this conversation. She... Thought Blue Mist was attractive and kind, but she wouldn't get in the way of Sunheart's affairs and affections, so she never would think of him again, she promised herself. Shadow Sky growled again as more talk went around about with Blue Mist. Daisy raced off and looked through the cats in the clearing, but then raced back towards the cats. <sighs> I do not a fan of date. I'm not a fan of Blue Mist, Shadow Sky growled. He's way too laid back for me. It's honestly quite annoying. He growled as he thought for a moment. Understandable. <laughs> not every cat has to like one another. Daisy said, pointing out the words liking each other. Like one another. She didn't like Shattered Sky. She was just trying to make that obvious. Well, isn't the gathering going to start soon? Daisy asked the two, and Sunheart nodded. Should start any second now. We should probably leave. Daisy was excited. She couldn't wait to go with the gathering. Would this be her moment to meet the other clans? Learn their names, or maybe even meet another cat. Maybe a cat that she liked or fancied. Would that be someone she'd want to become friends with? A cat from another clan? She knew cats weren't friendly with each other and wild cats, but she wanted to have some other friends that aren't Sunheart. She couldn't rely on this Molly forever. Snakeheart approached them. Come on, guys. Let's go to the gathering. All right, Daisy said, following him. Can I come? S she asked Snakestar as he began exiting camp. Snakestar looked back at her with a frown. No. <laughs> Sorry. You can ask Sunheart. I ash actually have to get to the gathering quite quickly. Can I come, Sunheart? She asked the Molly, and Sunheart looked back with a frown. Shattered Sky's points are right and true. No cat... No, cats wouldn't look at us and talk about us and think we're weak if we brought a kitty pet to the gathering. So, sorry, but no. She trailed off and looked back at Daisy, who 
whose big, wide, and happy expression had turned into a frown. Oh, uh, okay. Um, that's okay. I didn't really want to go that much anyway. Daisy was quiet for a few moments as she suddenly pretended to yawn. Oh, I'm a bit tired anyway. I think I'd be better if I just slept. I haven't slept in what feels like forever since Shad's guy dropped me off on my two leg home. <laughs> she let out a fake laugh and turned back to her nest. Welp, I'm gonna head off to bed now. Maybe. Yep. Okay. She took the long way as she brushed past bushes and into the warrior's den. Well, she hoped it was the warrior's den. Hey guys, how sure was it? The warrior's den Daisy there. asked the three cats. She laid that down in her nest and curled up for the night. It was terrible. Snake Stark groaned, sitting down and looking down at his paws, upset. How? Why was everything so bad? She asked. It was horrible. Sunheart looked away, saddened, and she looked back at Sunheart with a frown. Really? Was it that bad? What happened? It's too long to explain, but let's just say there were some arguments. Snakestar groaned and flexed his claws. None of your business, she heard Shared Sky mumble, but it wasn't that loud. I'm going to do patrols, Sunheart said as she pointed out cats. You and you and including you, she cats, the, the molly said. As Shared Sky began talking about the gathering again. They were so mean and disrespectful. You mean you, Shattered Sky? Her anger flared up at the at the Tom being rude to other cat, talking rude, talking about the other cats. You always seem to be growling at me, or anything else. The Molly growled back at the Tom, looking at her with disgust. Shut it, you prideful, toadless, brainless, and. Just shut up, you toad face! He snarled back and lay, sat and stood next to Sunheart. A cat next to her, Raven Song, flicked an ear at Shard Sky's rude retort as Daisy's flinched. It's fine, Daisy. Snakes are set after a while. Just don't push his buttons anymore, okay? I get you want to act tough, but <sighs> he won't be very kind to an angry retort with him. Shattered Sky was behind her, and Daisy could feel that, but nodded to Snake Star's words. You're talking to me, right? Daisy meowed, looking at Snake Star as he sat next to a Tom. Yes, I'm talking to you. I thought you knew that. Snake Star let out a chuckle, and Daisy nodded. She was being forgetful. Yes, okay. Daisy walked off and trotted down into the medicine den, hearing her head in as a couple of cats were talking. She saw a dappled, diluc-ish calico and walked back towards her spot next to Snake Star as he was talking with a fellow warrior. She raced around the camp, not knowing what else to do, and looked around for blue mist. A couple hours later, Daisy was wandering through River Clan territory when she saw a loud, rushing gorge. She heard a couple of cats near a two-leg bridge and raced towards it, worried when she heard coughing, and saw Sunheart and Shattered Sky talking to one another. Shattered Sky was pushing his paws onto the chest of a, war uh, of a russet-colored warrior as they 
coughed up water. Daisy raced towards them. What's happening here? She said, peering over the deep gorge as she saw a faint figure in the distance. Shattered Sky, what happened? She asked again as Shattered Sky turned back at her and pushed her down off into the ground. With a thud, she almost hit her head on a rock but managed to just dodge it. Uh, just coincidentally. Stay back, he growled as Daisy flinched. Stupid border patrol, she heard Sunheart curse under her breath as she looked down into the water, seeing the cat slowly sink deep below the crystal clear waves. Her and another cat named Sin Yonder were both on the ground from Shattered Skies, la obnoxious pushing to the ground. I'm, I'm a sunny, I'm, I'm, Sunheart stuttered as she looked at them. I'm never a sunny, another border butcher with you cats again, she growled. Hey, stop yelling, Shattered Sky, Daisy said as Tom yelled. What did I do? Wasn't it obvious, though? <laughs> Daisy laughed, but didn't make it that obvious that she did. She peered into the gorge and tried to see the cat, but it was gone. She tried to look across into the Wind Clan territory, but there was still no cat. Even she could feel that there, was no, there would be no cat in the barn as well. I just saved you from a rock fall to your death, Daisy. He screamed at her and she backed up. I didn't ask for that. What are you talking about? I was just looking over the edge. Sunheart ushered both of them to shut up and stop talking, but Shattered Sky kept yelling at her. Oh, come on, let's just bring Sin Yonder back to camp, you two. Stop it. Daisy's tail was poofed up in, as she was very flustered. Okay. You toad-faced blob of saliva! Shared Sky was screaming at Daisy again as a handsome Tom named Raven Mop came up and approached Daisy from behind. For your information, I wasn't going to fall in the first place! She yelled again as Raven Mop pressed her backwards. What in great stock, then? Come on, Daisy. Let's just head back to camp. He looked at her with a solemn gaze that was still nice. But the cats raced back to camp and everything faded to white. Underneath what rock, as snakes are said, as snakes are called the meeting, all cats gather Underneath wet rock for a clan meeting, he said, as cats began surrounding the big, large boulder that Snake Star was sitting on. Today, we have one new member and one new warrior, he spoke, looking around the clearing. Daisy thought who the new warrior would be, and when she spotted a large, dappled tom behind her, she knew that who that would be. But who was the new member? She knew almost every cat in River Clan, and she was, and she didn't hear any cat about a new member in the clan. Snake Star, Snake Star continued on as he called Sparrowpaw up to Wet Rock. Sparrowpaw, please step forward, he said as the Tom got up and stepped before the large brown tabby. As Dawn sat behind her. Every cat called out Sparrowpaw's new name. Sparrow Breeze, Sparrow Breeze, Sparrow Breeze, Sparrow Breeze. And Daisy called loud as well. Sparrow Breeze. And Daisy, as her name was called, she looked up alert, her tail fluffing up in confusion. What? You are joining this clan. You need a clan name. He purred, looking down at Daisy with a great big smile. She looked up at him, confused. 
And she nodded back, somehow reassured that everything would go well in the end. She wanted to join River Clan. She'd been there for moons now, and the clan had grown exponentially larger. She was ready to become a proud member. Do you wish to have a name for yourself? He asked her, and Daisy shook her head. If she had to pick anything, it would be Daisy, but if she needed a clan name, that was up to Snake Star. Well then, by this day forward, your new name will be Daisy Rain. Hey. Daisy Rain said as Adderving interrupted her, looking at Sun Rain on from his back. Hey, Sunheart, need any patrols out? Um, Sunheart looked at Daisy Rain with a smirk and nodded. Back it, Adderfang. Um, I could actually use one, the Dusk Patrol, actually. Could you and... Everything drowned out from Sunheart's point of view as... She spoke to Shattered Sky. Shattered Sky, I'm a warrior now. Now you can't bully me, she purred, for being a kitty pet. Shad's guy rolled his eyes and glared back at her. In my eyes, you're always going to be a kitty pet, he meowed, his words tart. Daisy Rain shook her head and looked back to the conversation Sunheart and Adderfang was having. And she stuck out her tongue at Shad's guy. Yeah, I could, I'd love to go on a patrol, Sunheart, she said as <sighs> Sunheart was getting up to leave. Adderfing responded and said, sure, in a calm tone. As Snake Star paced back and forth from behind her, let's go, Adderfang, Daisy Rain said excitedly as she leaped over the river. Adderfang following and almost tripping in. She was quite agile, she'd say. She puffed out her chest as she followed the tom through the grassy the grassy forest of River Clan territory. He sat at the river and she watched him. Watched him hunt and looked at the handsome Tom with a smile. He was very handsome. And she almost felt like she could have a crush on him, but she also kind of liked Raven's song and liked Bloomis from before, but her mind was muddled as he saw a fish dart below the roof. As she saw Adderfang look down at the water, a shadow darting past. Daisy Rain looked excited, her claws slicing out into the dark, rusted earth of the River Clan shore. Would he catch it? She hoped so. She watched the Tom as he stealthily looked down into the water and it stalked over the edge. She watched as the tom sliced his pine and d grabbed out a large fish. He gave a smile at him, almost to himself, and looked at Daisy Rain prominently. Daisy Rain responded, That was a great catch! She meowed towards him and the tom nodded. The best river clan warrior could do that. The worst river clan warrior could also do that. He meowed, looking at her with a, with her eye raising. Thanks. Now you try, he repeated. As Daisy Rain looked into the water eerily, a large fish was all, almost halfway across the river, but she thought if she could leap far enough, she could make it. She tensed her paws as she unsheathed them and then leaped, spiraling into the river. The claw, the fish caught in her claws tightly. She darted out of the water with, her f with the fish in her jaws as she walked up onto land, smiling at Adderfang in pride. Not bad for a kitty pet, he growled, looking at her. Hey! Daisy Rain puffed out her tail and growled at him angrily. 
What? Are you offended? I am a warrior, a river clan to you, she growled at him, dropping the fish on the ground. You're always going to be a kitty pet to me, Daisy. He gave a smile at her, his teeth showing fangs. Hey! Daisy Rain looked at her, him. Maybe she was just being playful. Maybe he was just being playful. She grabbed the tom and shoved him into the water, a laugh escaping her white muzzle. Heh! Adderfang snarled. Could a kitty pet do that? She growled as Adderfang looked at her and looked at her with an evil glare. Daisy, get this into your head. Just don't get too comfortable. Sweetie, he growled, shaking off water on and splashing it onto Daisy. She stuck her, her tongue out of him, growling. Why? What are you going to do to me? She snarled. She usually would be frightened by the Tom if they said something like that or threatened her like that, but now she felt a little more comfortable. And she was a really thin warrior. She had no doubts in what she, that she was one. She leaped. Suddenly, Adderfang leaped on him. Her. Her. He leaped on her and pushed her head down into the sand by his paws as he began walking off. She shook herself out, suddenly frightened, and growled, racing back to camp past him with all might, and looking as two cats were talking but ignored them, racing across the river. She had to tell Sunheart about this eventually. She looked terribly distraught as she sat down and looked around for a cat. Oh, who could you tell? She saw Sneak Star and let out a sigh. He was the leader. Sunheart was her best friend. She looked around and looked through each cat, trust scanning for Sunheart. Suddenly she saw Adderfang in the medicine den and braced out. Where was Sunheart? Oh, please still be here. She thought as she smelt, used her nose to smell for the molly. Daisy Rain looked over the edge and whispered to herself, oh, Don't do this. She touched a firefly that was far off and then raced back, sinking her claws into the earth. She couldn't do this. Please don't do this, Daisy, she thought to herself. You will regret it, she thought as she suddenly started crying rolling up tightly as she cried to herself. Oh, I'll amount to nothing, always. She thought to herself, and suddenly she got up, wiping the tears away from her eyes. No. Adderfang just thinks I amount to nothing. But Sunheart and Snake Star, they think I am something. They think I'm Daisy Rain and might their best friend. She raced into camp and raced through looking for Sunheart when she finally found her not far off into River Clan territory. Sunheart, I have to tell you something. She looked at the folded eared Molly. It's Adderfang. Sunheart looked at her confused and Gave a question and look. What about him? It's he. It's he. Hmm. He threatened me. She let out a scream. Not the scream of fear, but a scream of confusion. He, I don't know why, but he did. I'm on patrol. Shared Sky walked up to them and she looked at him. It's a private meeting. She called out to Shared Sky. He threatened you? Sunheart screamed at her and she flinched. Yes, he did. I still can't believe it. Why would she, Adderfang, do anything like that? Sunheart tensed her claws into the earth, 
looking back up at Daisy Room with a burning rage. I'm going to tell Snake Star, she growled. Oh, no, but, well, that, that's a good thing, I guess. Um, like I said, he did threaten me. That, that, that's bad, right? Oh, she could hear a rabbit off in the distance, but she didn't go for it. Um, yeah. So, that's really all I have to say. She, she looked up at Sunheart. I, I just want to say, um, thanks for being my best friend. She meowed. A tear curling up in her eye again as Sunheart nodded. You're always going to be my best friend. Forever. Even in death shall we part. For me or you, I will always be your best friend. She said again. Thanks. She meowed, looking up at her with a smile as everything fades to See? Exactly. That's not threatening. Adderfang had pulled Daisy aside. The reason the Tom did that since it was because she told Snake Star how she was threatened by him. It sounded like it, he snapped back. I simply told you not to get comfortable with me. I'm not a friendly cat, and I don't like being touched, he, rec he growled. Daisy recalling how she had shoved him into the river. Ahem, Sunheart had spoken from behind the two, and Adderfang and Daisy Rain whipped their heads behind, looking at her. You both stay away from each other. End of conversation. Sunheart snapped. That's... I, I was doing that before. He talked to me in the middle of a clan meeting to come and meet him after. Daisy spat out the words and... No problem. Adderfang said as Snakestar approached. What is going on here? What are you guys bickering about now? Tom growled. Anything important I should know? Snake Star looked at them, and Daisy shivered. Mm, no. Daisy was about to run out, but she raced back in. And no threatening. Sunheart yelled after Adderfang as he walked off, his tail switching. Not really, just a conflict, Snake Star. Sunheart, he said as Daisy raced out of camp. Fine! She growled as she raced down next to the river, beginning to cry. After that, Sunheart and Daisy Rain and Snakes are arriving in conversation. Sunheart approached Snake Star. What's up? She asked the brown tabby. Sunheart! Daisy looked at S Sunheart as she collapsed to the floor. Snake Star quickly grabbed her and dragged her to the medicine cat den. Sun, Sunheart! Her voice was quivering as she followed Snake Star towards the medic. Oh, Sunheart, please, 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 please! She whimpered. Just don't, don't lose, don't, don't. What, what happened? Daisy Rain was stuttering. She didn't even mind that Adderfang was next to her. This was all about Sunheart now. Daisy searched the medicine shelf. She tried to find something that would help. Come help, help, someone help. Daisy Rain called out. Daisy looked around. Seeing Sunheart's nieces and nephews crowd upon her. Oh, kittens, not now, she thought, but didn't say that out loud. No one would probably hurt their little feelings. She grinned. As a young kitten called, called Salmon Kit whispered out, Auntie, please, Auntie, Auntie, what's wrong with her? Salmon Kit looked at Daisy Rain, bewildered, as Oakberry, the medicine cat, sat down next to Sunheart. 
Daisy Rain looked bewildered, still in shock. She thought she could have a heart attack. Oh, please, please, oh God, Barry, help her. Daisy Rain pleaded again as she began whimpering as Oakberry spoke calmly. Please, everyone out of the medicine den, especially you, Daisy Rain. We can't have your whimpering and crying around the kittens. They might get upset. Then they might start getting even more scared. That's the last thing we need. Here, take some time and just rest, she whispered to Daisy Rain as she gave her some time. After a couple of hours, Daisy Rain had checked up in Sunheart. She was awake now and speaking with her mother, Chirping Horn. Come on, darling, get some rest, take a nap. Daisy Rain watched, not wanting to intrude in the family's conversation. But she slipped behind Sunheart and listened. I'm not going to exactly. I can't. Sunheart was stuttering, her head still aching from when she passed out and hit the floor. It's just I have patrols to do, Mother. Come on, don't you understand that? Daisy Rain watched Raven Moth in the distance. I agree, Sunheart. She meowed, barely even listening anymore. She watched Raven Moth. But then she shook her head, remembering that Mocha Pelt, Sunheart's sister, was supposedly mates with him. She couldn't like Raven Moth. That would be a betrayal to Sunheart, including her sister. After even an even more long period of time, Daisy Rain raced out of camp. Her paws were numb as she did. She knew what was coming in her mind, and she wanted it to stop. Please, Daisy Rain, don't do this! But in her mind, Daisy Rain was just a useless kitty pet. She would be amount to nothing, just like Adderfing had said. And as the afternoon sun rose above her, Daisy Rain contemplated, contemplated her life. She should have stayed at her two legs. She should have stayed at her two legs. Should have left when she had the chance after she saved cotton candy. Suddenly, she raced into the water, splashing as she hit the water with a pounding boom. Her fur was, went numb as she felt herself going under the waves, the water crashing over her head. As she thought her life was ending, she saw Adderfang at the bank. What are you doing, Bob Sprain? He growled as she felt another wave crash over her head. The cream and dark blue tom touched the water with a paw tip. Then dove in, racing for her. He grabbed Daisy Rain by the scruff and began dragging her out of the water. You fool! He was growled again. Daisy Rain was confused why he was doing this. Fairly confused. Wasn't they, weren't they enemies? Why was the Tom being so nice? She felt being tugged out of the water as her eyes were sh glued shut from the amount of water that flowed into him. And before she knew it, she was on the bank. You, you saved me! Daisy Rain spluttered out and coughed up water. Adderfang nodded. Your clanmate. Suddenly, a blue tom raced through the forest. What? Adderfang protested towards the tom. I'm leaving this stupid clan! I'm never coming back! She had lived Stream scrowl. Daisy flinched. What was this Tom talking about? I could care less if the entire clan got killed. I'm leaving. Daisy Rain flinched again. This must have been business that 
wasn't her own. I... I'm so confused, Daisy Rain whispered. There was always so much drama around her. Why was she chosen to be here on, his, on this life? He was... she... He was... she... She was confused. The water must have rushed to her head the wrong way because everything around her spun. When suddenly, she collapsed on the ground. But she quickly grabbed, scrabbled upwards. Um. Suddenly, Daisy was in the nest, and Oakberry was questioning what happened to her. I fell in the gorge, she whispered, as everything faded to white.